Hi. So you want to start a, a batch job for records uh, related to, for instance, the account. So in our example, we want to generate the documents for every opportunity linked to a certain account. And we want to launch this batch when uh, something on the, on the account is uh, updated. So we are using a flow here. That means that, of course, you can now uh, run this or start this uh, batch job from a uh, record triggered flow or from an, uh, uh, a flow that's uh, just a, a screen flow. So any kind of flow, you can uh, trigger this. But it has to be a flow. You cannot trigger uh, with parameters from a process builder. OK, so how do we get started? First of all, we have to create in the manager uh, two Apex defined variables. And these Apex defined variables have to be of type Cadmus parameter. That's the first one. And of type Cadmus key value. That's the second one. OK, when this is done, then we're just going to start assigning variables. So first of all, we're going to assign the variable uh, key eh, of the uh, key value um, Apex defined variable that you have just seen to the uh, account ID value. So this parameter is the name of the parameter. And this matches here the parameter that we need in our uh, query. So you can have as many parameters as you want. And of course, you can have uh, different types of parameters. At this moment, we're just uh, trying out the value string. But you can have uh, a lot of type of uh, parameters, like, for instance, uh, uh, booleans, dates, date times, multi-select, which is a uh, comma-separated list, uh, doubles, and of course, uh, strings. So that's the one we are using now a value string, and we're setting it to the current record ID. So what we want in our overview here is actually all the opportunities linked to our account. So that's where we want to get started. So this is all the uh, documents we want to create. And that's why we're going to take the account ID here uh, linked to the uh, yeah, link to the record that we have just changed. OK. Then next up, a new assignment, because now we have to create this, uh, um, this key value pair yeah, uh, for, the, uh, param uh, for the variable we have just introduced. We have to add it to the uh, parameters Apex defined variable that we, have, that we have seen here. So for that, we need the parameters, dot values, the add operator, and then the key value that we have just uh, created. If you want to have uh, multiple uh, parameters defined, not a problem. You can just, okay, add multiple key value um, Apex defined variables here, of course. Okay, so now uh, next up is creating our um, new element action element. So for uh, starting our batch job, and here we have to enter a batch ID. Our batch ID is, of course, the identifier of the batch right here. Uh, if you want to get that identifier via logic inside the flow, not a problem, of course, but, uh, but now it's just hard coded. And then we want to pass on our uh, parameters. So that's the Apex defined uh, variable that we have uh, created. So that's it, all done. So uh, now we have our, uh, our uh, record triggered flow. And when we update, yeah, um, when we update our record and uh, uh, the um, condition says when the rating equals hot, then this flow will launch and we will actually run this. Start a batch job to create documents for every opportunity. OK, let's take a look. So I'm going to change my rating here first to warm. Yeah, nothing will happen because that's not the condition of our, um, of our flow. And next up, I'm going to uh, switch it back to hot. OK, save. No errors. So the job should have uh, started. How can we check that? Let's take a look at the batch runs. And this batch run, I just started. And you see that in 0 0.03 seconds, it actually uh, processed all three uh, documents. So uh, yeah, because there are, there are three uh, opportunities related to this, uh, to this account. And it generated all three. No errors, so all is done. And this is how you can uh, launch a, 
uh, launch a flow, uh, sorry, a batch job uh, with parameters.